What's up everyone? This is Corey and I'm going to show you how to play One Step Closer by Linkin Park. So the song is a half note below standard tuning, but I'll still teach it as if it were in standard tuning just to make it easier to learn. And like most Linkin Park songs, it's in dr drop D. So let's uh, begin with the uh, song's si si signature guitar riff played during the intro. Alright, so that's played on the uh, drop D and A strings. Uh, you're going to palm mute the notes on the drop D string, so instead of this sound, you get this sound. But you're not going to palm mute the notes on the A string. Alright, so start by picking the open drop D string, then use your first finger for a D on the A string 5th fret, then pick the open drop D string again, then use your 3rd finger for an E on the A string 7th fret, so so far we have Then use your second finger for an A sharp on the drop D string 8th fret and your first finger for an A on the drop D string 7th fret, so like this. Then pick the open drop D string again. And then use your first finger for an F on the drop D string 3rd fret, so. So next, you have the chord progression played during the verse. So that consists of drop D power chords and dyad chords. A drop D power chord is when you bar the drop D, A, and D strings on any fret, like this. So, begin by strumming a D power chord, which is the open drop D, A, and D strings. You strum that twice. Then, you mute and rate the strings up by the 7th fret, like this. Alright, you do it up there, because that's where the next chord is gonna be. You have an E dyad chord with your first finger on the A string 7th fret and your third finger on the G string 9th fret. So we have. Alright, then you're going to strum an A sharp power chord on the 8th fret with your 2nd. Uh, finger and an A power chord on the 7th fret with your first finger. Then mute and rake the strings down by the 3rd fret and then you're going to strum a C diad chord with your first finger on the uh, a string 3rd fret and your 3rd finger on the G string 5th fret. So. Then next you have the pre-chorus. So you're going to strum a G pad power chord on the 5th fret with your 2nd finger, and you're going to alternate between actually strumming the chord and muting and raking these strings, so like this. Then you have the chorus. So, those are all drop D power chords. 
start by str strumming that D power chord, which is the open drop D, A, and D strings. Then use your third finger for a D on the tw tw 12th fret. Then your first finger for a C on the 10th fret. Then slide that down three frets to that A on the se 7th fret. Then use your 2nd finger for that A sharp on the 8th fret. Then slide your 1st finger down 2 frets to that uh, G. Then use your 3rd finger finger for that A, and then slide your first finger down two more frets to an F. So. So you then repeat the verse, and then you're going to play a slightly different second pre-chorus. You're going to add this harmonic above the divider between the 6th and 7th frets uh, on the B string with your 4th finger, so like this. So you're going to play this. All right, then you go into the chorus. And then during the last measure of the second chorus, at the end, you're going to add on this uh, D sharp power chord on the first fret with your first finger, so like this. Break. Then next you have the bridge, you know it well, shut up when I'm talking to you. You're going to play this chord pro progression. All right, so start with your first finger on that uh, D sharp power chord, then strum the uh, D. And then you're going to uh, mute and rake uh, the, the strings, so. And then strum the D again. And then use your third finger for that F, and then your first finger for the D sharp, and then strum the D again, so. And then use your third finger for a G sharp on the 6th fret, a G sharp pa power chord, so. And then strum the D, and then use your third finger again for the F. So. And then uh, you have the fi final chorus. That's it. Next, I will co cover the song. Th thanks for watching.
watching.